Okay, we're looking at these pictures, and but inside of it, you're creating your creating these forms, what is it that you're feeling when you're painting these things? Are you aware of these energy bodies or what goes on for you? Well, I think that my quest has been similar to a kind of philosophical quest or a spiritual journey about uh, who are we, you know, mm -hmm. what are we or who am I? And so the question has always been uh, about self-discovery and then hopefully that will relate to a larger group of people as well if you can get down to a fundamental root mm. and so uh, that's really what's driving it mm. you know what am I and what is this it's mm. a constant mystery and so along the way um, you I've plugged into these, what I would call visionary worlds, which have been part and parcel of art for, you know, since the beginning. Right. Since the uh, shamans painted on the walls of caves, you know, tens of thousands of years ago. And um, then the, all the different cultures with the multi-headed beings and the multi-armed and various kinds of things like that, they're all plugging into this uh, visionary inner world. And uh, I, I think it's the same as uh, the platonic archetypes. And uh, there's been various different uh, religions or cultures will look at this world the world, uh, Blake called it the divine imagination. Right. And uh, so to me, that's sort of art becomes an emblem uh, or a passionate encapsulization and in some way a convincing proof that these inner realities mm -hmm. exist at all. They don't have to argue for one ideology over another. Mm -hmm. Art in general argues for the reality of the inner worlds. Mm. It speaks for that. And that's what we need to sort of resurrect uh, in the 21st century is the value of the inner worlds. That the subjective is what brings meaning and purpose to our lives. Mm. And this is what's been devalued in the materialist, kind of modernist, what uh, Wilbur calls a flatland uh, that uh, doesn't see depth or height or meaning or purpose, but only describes the surfaces of things. Well, for me, it's incredibly inspirational to see your art. My first experience was, well, at many years ago, about, I don't know, 20, 10, 15 years ago, I, I asked to have a vision of ascension, of the body turning into light, because I heard that something like that was possible, so I said, something like that's possible, I want to have a vision of it. Mm -hmm. And then I go with my friend into the new museum to see this performance art thing that's happening in the basement, and your sacred mirrors are covering the, the main hallway, and I stand in front of this one, and there is the body actually turning into light. Yes. There's the ascended body molecularly changing, and for me, it was an answer to a prayer. Mm. seeing that. It